Hey YouTube, we're flipping the coin. Recently I did a video about my 12 month goals and after that a video about the excuses I tell myself, the excuses I have for not accomplishing those goals. Really, I just dug, dug deep into my subconscious and spit out everything that came up that would stand in my way for not achieving those goals. And really, it's like the, the enemy. It's really Satan whispering these things in my head because today I realized none of that is true. And so I rewatched my video, listed the excuses that stood out for me, and then I proclaimed the truth and what is actually true and what a solution is to not live in, living in fear, not living uh, in the excuses and getting stuck by them rather moving forward towards the goals being on mission and doing god's work as he calls us to and as it's supposed to be so follow along and maybe you resonate with some of the excuses i will reiterate some uh, or like say some of the excuses again and um, if that's you i also have a solution for you so here we go now first excuse had to do with body so I broke it up into four categories, body, being, balance, and business. Let's start off with body. So the body excuse I use is that I really need food to get by, to be energized, to feel good, to even have a sense of safety and security, and really to just get by. It's like my one number one gateway to Keep busy, <laughs> have a sense of that I'm really like living. But in reality, food is just a means to oh, get the energy to some extent, yet it's very limited. What I found is that when I deny myself when it comes to food, a little more, even if it's just skipping breakfast, that just opens me up to new aspects of life and I can direct my focus to those aspects. For example, social interactions. If I don't have breakfast, I automatically feel that sense of hunger. I need to fill it with something. So what I do now is I call a friend or I call on God and I pray and he just fills my cup. And that is a fulfillment that goes beyond just the flesh. It is soul nourishment and that is really what we need and this is really the ultimate fulfillment so that's one of the key aspects i like to focus on uh, when it comes to body and an affirma affirmation as there is something i say no to food because there is something better so, something simple like that can really helps me um, trusting i think trust is big here too because God has bigger plans and he showed that every day so we can just walk in that grace and trust in him and allow him to fill our cup with whatever I mean it may not only be with food and water but really living waters he gives us so much more all right now then I had some issues with resting I told myself excuses to not be in bed on time so I was staying up late. This resulted in like a downward spiral because next day I was tired, slept in. Then after that, I didn't do as much as I would like to be in bed or like stay up late. Next day we do it again and really my energy suffered. So the excuse I told myself was that I wanted to do something and it's good to do as much as you want. Like the whole grind the, the, you hear people say like yeah oh my midnight grind or something yeah i think there's a time and place for it if you really feel the call feel the inspiration you can just run with it in general nighttime is there for us to rest and rejuvenate for us to kill the next day and yeah because if you're grinding all night what good are you the next day right no human being can like keep on running for hours and hours Maybe David Goggins or some ultra marathon guy can do that for 24 hours. Yeah, we're not designed to do that. Um, it's the natural cycles. 
So what helps me then in this regard to beat this excuse that is actually a good thing to stay up late, which is not. What I just, I can't think about it. I just need to sink down in my body, get in touch with my heart, get in touch with my uh, senses. And then eventually I know I'm tired and it feels good. And I just want to go to bed. So really there's no rational trick there for me. Yeah, just the one thing that knowing I need to wind down in the evening. So I lay down, do some self massage, my facial release stretches, and then that's that. The uh, second category being, that means our spiritual development. Sorry about the noise. Spiritual development. That means alignment with God and giving that the attention in, that is required. And I, the excuse I told myself there is that I don't have to make time, specific time for that. God is always with me and oh, he takes care of me perfectly fine. I don't need to pray and I don't have the time. Now, there's some truth to it. Like God always protects us. I know that from a fact. Like I, if I would look back at my life, I'd be like, yeah, he cared me. Even at times I wasn't praying. Even at times I didn't pay attention to him. He's always paid attention to me. And prayer, if that is coupled with that belief, it's even more powerful. Because prayer is really our reaching out to the Father and calling down for more help or giving gratitude. And that just fills our cup with gratitude. If we fill our cup with gratitude, that just feels amazing. And then you got some to give to others. So yeah, it's an essential part. And even nowadays with spiritual warfare, we see it happening. People are getting attacked in various ways, mentally, emotionally, physically, like our bodies get sick. And then also spiritually, like souls are confused. So a lot of people don't know what their purpose is. And there's that's where prayer comes in. So it is essential. It is necessary and it will just, there will just be more graces pouring into your life. It's like God teaches us to pray. And the excuse then, to, to beat this excuse really, for me, trust. I trust because I need to let go of some things that keep me busy, like being on my phone. Put it away. I trust in God. And I get on my knees and I pray. And for me, what helps is doing this first thing in the morning. Uh, first thing that's on my mind is pray. I pray the rosary. Um, don't overthink it. Like right off the bat. And then that sets the tone for the day. Because you'll be aligned with him right away. It's like taking on his hand. He's like, yo, God, let's go on a journey. And then after that, you know, before you know it, you'll be praying again in the afternoon. You'll be thanking him in the evening. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's my way of doing that. Hmm. Then we got balance. Two excuses I had there. One is I don't have the energy to work on my relationships. I don't have the energy because people suck my energy out of me. Sometimes that happens, but that's not true for all relationships. So the fear of relationships sucking my energy and me using as an excuse. I can't work on my relationships because I don't have the energy. It is really a, um, it works two ways. It, it, it works two ways because it really tells me that I need to get clear on what relationships give me energy and which ones don't. And when I actually move towards the relationship to give me energy, yeah, guess what? It flows and I want to do more of it. So it's not an excuse I don't have energy. Actually, the signal that I have don't have energy is a reason to invest in relationships and to work on balancing my relationships. Then, I don't, I had, this is one I, I, I listed. I don't deserve relationships. That's a poor belief. 
That's a poor belief. I no longer believe that, but it sometimes it creeps up on me. Or more of a sense of like other people are better than me and I'm never the guy that can be matching them or like deserving them. Well, the reality is people respect me and people appreciate me. And nine out of the 10 relationships that I really value they let me know, they let me know they do appreciate it and they 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 say it. Uh, they don't literally say you deserve it but the very fact that they're with me and that we're in it is telling me that i do deserve it and yeah so i think it's an illusion to to think uh, we don't deserve the relationships i believe god uses relationships in so many ways and he wants us to have relationships with other people just as you have with them you know love god above all and our neighbor as ourselves <sighs> simple right we make things too complicated i think this video will turn out simple but maybe if you're still stuck along let's move on to the final category business i have so many excuses there i listed like 10 I'll pick up a couple for you. So I told myself I don't have time to work on my business. I told myself I don't have energy. I can't do it. I can't be vulnerable. Show my real self because people will judge me. I'm afraid of judgment. And I'm okay where I'm at. Okay, so that's really just... Um, that's, that's like saying, yeah... <laughs> Uh, whatever what's the what's the, what good is it well if you heard me on my 12 month goals i've got a vision so i want to make that business so um about these excuses to really counter these i find that there's just one thing and that is i can do this i can make time i can make energy and have energy I can be vulnerable as I'm being here with you on camera. And in fact, it feels freaking amazing. I am not afraid of judgment because all the judgment, nine out of 10 judgment I get is positive. And even if it's negative, I believe there's still love in the negative feedback. There is love in the hate because people get triggered. You know, and maybe it teaches them something. One thing I learned over the weekend is that it's not as much about the messenger, me sharing this, but it's more about the message and how it lands for you. So I don't take these things personally. Judgment, I don't take that personally. I just trust in God that he lets come across to you guys whatever you need to hear. And I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel of God's grace. Now, that's how I flip the coin. And it all boils, boils down to trust and belief. And so I trust that God is giving me everything I need when it comes to body, being, balance, business. And I trust that he's working out, out all things for good even the excuses I tell myself. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you liked it. If not, let me know, man. As I mentioned, negative feedback is always good and we can grow from that. Peace.